Welcome back to AM Northwest. Even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, there is another respiratory illness we need to be looking at, the flu. Here to share what we need to know this flu season, we welcome from Providence Medical Group, Newburgh Internal Medicine, Dr. Sarah Rakala. Doctor, I've got to ask you this. First of all, what will this year's flu season look like, the 2021 season? Good morning, Helen. Yeah, it's a little bit early for us to tell. Uh, we have not seen many cases of flu in the hospital. Um, in Oregon, the test positivity rate still remains about 0.1%. Um, there are some suggestions that we need to be a little bit concerned that it'll be a, a significant year, um, but we're still waiting to see kind of how things shape up and how well this year's flu vaccine uh, is matched against uh, the circulating strains of influenza. Last year was really nice when it comes to the flu because we were all doing the hand sanitizing, we were not touching people or hugging people, breathing on them, all of that. And so that felt great, so it felt like no one got the flu. But people are getting more relaxed and kind of like a COVID fatigue kind of thing. Will that make a difference, you think, this year? I think it definitely will. Um, people are anxious to be with their friends and family yeah. and are missing uh, physical contact with people. Um, I think all of us have noticed that uh, mask wearing is declining. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm hopeful that if we can continue to uh, follow some basic guidelines and hand hygiene being uh, one of them, uh, that we can uh, stay safe through the holidays. Can you get the flu shot and the COVID vaccine at the same time? Let's say you need to go get your booster, you get your booster and the flu shot at the same time? Absolutely. We encourage people to get both vaccines at the same time if that's convenient. Um, we think that it's very important that people continue to become vaccinated against COVID-19, but also uh, the best time to get the influenza vaccine is prior to uh, the outbreak really starting, yeah. and uh, that is what's going to help us control community spread. But um, if people are anxious about receiving both, uh, I've encouraged patients to uh, finish their COVID uh, vaccination series um, uh, because we know COVID is uh, actively circulating in the community right now. And then if they would like, if they'd prefer to wait a week or two to get flu, uh, then to go ahead and do that. But it's absolutely safe to get them together. How can you tell if you've possibly got the flu versus if you've got COVID? I've been dealing with all my allergies and I, oh, is it my allergy? Is it COVID? Yeah, so the syndromes uh, have a lot of overlap, which makes it difficult even at times for physicians to tell the difference. Um, influenza is, a, is the typical upper respiratory illness that involves typically a high fever, uh, notable for really severe body aches, um, and then cough, um, runny nose, uh, et cetera. Uh, COVID-19 illness can resemble influenza, um, and, but also seems to have a way of presenting differently in different people, um, and including mild symptoms, um, some GI symptoms. And so it's, act it's actually really difficult to tell the difference uh, in some patients and oftentimes uh, we will be testing for both illnesses uh, through the winter to try to differentiate. Yeah, so um, when should you try to seek care? Like, and should you go to the ER? Should you go to uh, your doctor? What do you think? So my best advice for your viewers is if they are established with a primary care physician to start there. Many times uh, if you contact your primary care office uh, they can advise you over the phone uh, with uh, excellent self-care options. Uh, many offices have nurses that can triage uh, symptoms and help uh, you decide if you need to come in to be seen in person or if you could stay at home. Uh, obviously, because these are communicable diseases, when patients are well enough to be cared for at home, uh, we really like to uh, encourage that because it can limit the spread of the disease. But if uh, and now, of course, we have telehealth visits uh, yeah. that many physicians are performing. And so um, it's a really great opportunity to, to assess a patient over the video and, and decide, uh, help them decide how sick they are. If, uh, if patients uh, need care and uh, don't, aren't in an established primary care practice, 
uh, express care or urgent care options can be a great way uh, to get tested, to um, get medic medications to help control symptoms. Uh, we really encourage patients to avoid using the emergency room yeah. um, unless they're uh, severely ill, short of breath, um, can't keep down food or fluids, um, or have other uh, you know, symptoms that, are, that appear to be life-threatening. All right, we want to tell folks if you would like to find out more, you can contact Providence Medical Group. The number is on your screen, and we'll put that information on our website at ktu.com. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We'll be right back.